For something as grand of a scale of this, of course it had to be done the Amazon way. Alexa, open the spheres. Okay, Jeff. <laughs> In Amazon, at Amazon, if you will, except this is a workspace. It's primarily an office space for Amazon employees, a place for them to come and collaborate and innovate with uh, other uh, co-workers. The inside has 40,000 plants, 400 different types of species spanning five continents and 50 countries. Many of the plants and trees have been here since May. The largest plant, this 55-foot ficus tree dubbed Ruby, which was first planted in California in 1969 and was transported here during the summer. For the Amazon horticulturist in charge of the plant's health, he still gets excited walking through here. Yeah. I'm still uh, inspired. Um, I walk by those terrarium boxes upstairs with the begonias. I walk by Ben's living wall, and I look at him and just think, how did this happen? The spheres are unlike any office you've seen before. No cubicles, no office desks, and don't worry about the coworker who messes with the office thermometer either. So a normal office is 68 degrees and like 30% humidity. You come in here, it's slightly warmer, 72 degrees and 60% humidity. Just people in nature to hopefully inspire the next big idea or solve the problem. We wanted to give it a spirit, a soul, a spirit, you know, a center for Amazon and for the city to sort of rally around. And so this collection of people and plants uh, made for a nice theme. The spheres are equally impressive on the outside, built with 620 tons of steel, 12 million pounds of concrete, and more than 2,600 panes of glass, tested time and again for things like earthquakes and wind. Believe it or not, on a very microscopic level, the building is moving right now. Um, the building is alive every day. In the summer, it's a little bit more dramatic. When the sun comes in, we can physically see the building move over the course of the day. Pike Place, the Space Needle, and now the Spheres, the latest icon here in Seattle.